Indiana University East Chemistry C106 Indicators. An indicator is a substance for which there is a different color for the acid and conjugate base forms of the compound. Okay, so in titrations we use it to determine where the end point of a titration is, the, where the equivalence point is. And let's think about this. So it's a weak acid and we have different colors for the acid and conjugate base. So let's look at it in terms of pH. We recall for weak acid that Ka, which is a constant, is equal to the conjugate base concentration times the concentration of H plus divided by the concentration of the acid form of the indicator. If the pH is high, then what we see is that the H plus concentration is low. So in order for the value of Ka to be maintained, the base form, Ia minus concentration, much, must be much higher than the acid form concentration. So if the base form is what we see. Conversely, if we have a low pH, then the acid form is what predominates. As the concentration of H plus is high, so in order to maintain this fraction, we need a large number here. So for example, for phenolphthalein, you see that there's a different chemical structure for the acid and base forms, okay? We won't go into details here, especially since technically this is a polyprotic, but you see here that it is clear when it's in acid form and it's pink when it's in base form. At intermediate temperatures where you have where the pH is close to the pKa, as you've seen from buffers before, the concentration of acid is similar to that of base, and so you see some intermediate colors. Okay, and so we want the color change to occur pretty well. Now, let's think about titration. But before we think about titrations, let's look at different indicators. You see here that you have a range of different indicators, okay? that are available. And different indicators have different color changes. So crystal violet changes color between pH 0 to 2, bromophenol blue between pH 3 and 5, and so on and so forth. Universal indicators are a mixture of several of these indicators so that there'll be different colors for different pHs. There's a couple of ways we can use indicators. By looking for the intermediate color, we can determine the pH of a compound, something we won't do in lab. Another use is to determine the end point of a titration or the equivalence point. What you want to do is this. And this is a good reason why you don't want to go around and fuss over weak acid, weak base titration is because you need a sharp end point. You need a sharp change in pH going from acid form to base form. So it doesn't matter that here you're going from pH 7 to 11 so you're not going to see the intermediate color. So here you have weak acid, strong base titration and we see that we have the clear form and if we use phenolphthalein you go from acid form to the base form as you cross the equivalence point and therefore you see the sudden change in color on your indicator. Depending on the pH of your equivalence point, you pick an indicator that changes color around that pH and hence you do your titration with that indicator. 